PhD in biochemistry from Songmun University, South Korea, and he was awarded again with the Mahindra Vidya Bhushan in 2061. He is a former professor in uh, it's a UN University, Women University, research professor, and he has a postdoc uh, from North Carolina State University. So we have a person here, very recent academic qualification. So it's a great pleasure to have the presence of such personalities in our town. So once again, I would like to welcome him and express my gratitude for his presence in our college. Now you might have queries in your mind or something going in your mind, what will happen there in the presentation. Obviously, we know what is research. If I ask you, then you know also because you have already gone through the research methodology 100 marks course in your third year. No? Just research is what? That is the systematic investigation or the study of the materials and sources that brings out the facts, that brings out the new conclusions. So it is the basis, the result, the hard facts is the basis for planning, policy making, project implementation and evaluation. Much more things about the research and what are the opportunities of the research in Nepal that will be delivered by today's guest, today's icon, Dr. Parajali. So, I would like to hand over this floor to Dr. Parajali. So please have a Like, only 
DI DI resonance. When this all DI DI resonance is expressed, then this administered drug hemoglobin <coughs> doesn't work to that cancer person. Okay. So in my college, my student, my abdicated the offer a call. She worked on this project, all DI DI resonance related project, and we want to see. We want to see whether our plant extract, you know, is from Nepal is rich with biodiversity, and we can make plant extract easily from our biodiversity. Then we made several plant extract, and we thought that this plant extract can inhibit the earlier diseases. And when this earlier diseases is inhibited by plant extract, then only this thing can work. So this type of research we can do here in Nepal. Okay. So in my presentation, I am I am I am delivering this lecture in very simple manner so that you student can understand what type of research is feasible here in Nepal. Okay. So do you understand from my this talking or not? No. This is the only idea of this. I am talking again. And this only if this only idea of this is expressed, this, this is the protein. Okay, and in our body, this only idea resonance gene is found, and this gene can make protein. Only idea resonance protein, and when this protein is expressed, then then that person, when chemotherapy drug is given, then this drug doesn't work, doesn't work to that person. Under what case, when this this gene only idea resonance is expressed, okay? But uh, from the plant extract, you guys also can find the plant extract, and you can also work with this this type of enzyme inhibition inhibition assay, so that we can also screen whether the plant extract can inhibit the all the idea this or not. Okay, if this plant extract uh, could inhibit the plant, this all the idea business, then future drug candidate can lead to that from that extract. Okay, now I will. And this is another another scope of research which we can do here in Nepal. This is also about the enzyme division. This is the only idea of this. And now I can move to this polyol pathway. Maybe you you all a little bit heard about this polyol pathway. In polyol pathway, look from this full course, this all all those reductase enzyme can make this sorbitol from the full course. But the sorbitol is toxic to I. Okay, if sorbitol is found, then this disease is known as this diabetic disease or retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy. Okay, in this we can we can get this type of problem when sorbitol is found from this pathway. Okay, and this is the case when this all this all those diabetes this this glucose to sorbitol. Okay, but this sorbitol is harmful for our eye. Okay, and this is toxic for our for our eyes. And this this type of complication is known as retinopathy. Okay, and from the plant extract, as I already explained in my previous talk also, this from the plant extract also we can find the all those reductase inhibitor. Okay, if we block the action of this all those reductase, all those reductase, then there is no chance of formation of the sorbitol. Okay, and by doing so we can cure this retinopathy problem, diabetic eye. Problem. Okay, so from yeah, I want to tell from the natural product, you can also extract, you can also work on natural product. Okay, from the you can also isolate the extract from the natural sources from the plant extract, and you can also work this type of enzyme inhibition assay. Yes. Look, I in this assay also my students. Collected several plants, several different type of plant, plants, and he made the plant extract, and he performed the experiment related with this auto reductase inhibition, and we found this type of result. Okay, let's go to the next slide. And this is the, this is this, this college also has microbiology program, microbiology program, and this work is very related with microbiology. Because perhaps you little bit heard about the mixobacteria. Okay, these mixobacteria are gram-negative bacteria. Okay, most of the students 
I'm very familiar with historomyces and actinomyces, right? But uh, only a few of them know probably about this mitobacteria. And in my college, we also work on isolation of mitobacteria. And you successfully, for the very first time, from the Nebne soil, we, are, we isolated the mitobacteria for the first time in Nepal. And now I want to tell something about this mitobacteria and why mitobacteria are very so important. Look, this, uh, as you know that uh, commercially available two thirds of antibiotics are isolated from soil, soil based histidomyces or actinomyces. But uh, mitobacteria are also another source of antibiotics from which we can isolate the anti-cancer drug like TB chylum. This uh, from in 2000, this uh, Kosan Khan bioscience scientist isolated the epithylum anti-cancer drug from the mitobacteria. But in Nepal also, here I see this, uh, we, did, we did not uh, extensively work on mitobacteria. You can also start working on mitobacteria here in your, in your college and if you need some technical advices or if you want the protocol from outside, we can provide. Okay, we can assist to you to isolate this type of mitobacteria. <coughs> but this, uh, isolating this mitobacteria is very challenging and really is a very tough job. Coming with isolation of the histolomyces and actinomyces. Okay, because histolomyces and actinomyces are gram-positive bacteria, okay, and, and easy to handle, but uh, this mixture bacteria is very difficult. So no one is working on mixture bacteria here in Nepal. Okay, but uh, in my college, my students work on isolation of the mixture bacteria, and we also establish the research collaboration with Saarland University of Germany. I am working together with Saarland University. Successfully, we isolate the seven new strain of this seven new strain of this mitobacteria. We isolated seven new mitobacterial strain for the for the first time from Nendi soil, working together with German guys also. Okay, now, before, before we tell about that, uh, now I want to let you know something about the mitobacteria. What type of bacteria are they? Look, this mitobacteria, as I already told, these are gram negative bacteria and can generate the variety of micromolecules and some of them show cellularity activity also. Okay, like cellulase. And in presence of Nutrients, swarm of the bacteria will show swarming mobility. Okay, unlike to actinomyces and histodomyces. And but if the food supply, if the food supply is limited, then the bacteria aggregates for fruiting body. So, while understanding about the bacteria, it is very, it is very hard to understand the swarming mobility and fruiting bodies of bacteria. Okay. Once you could understand the swarming mobility and fruiting bodies of mitobacteria, then only you could isolate mitobacteria successfully. Okay? So okay, for technical support, for practical or lab work support, if you want, you, you can talk with your teachers, okay? Then we can work we can work together with your teachers, okay? And ultimately you students can also be benefited from this type of research. Okay? And my student, Novin Rana, work on isolation of this, this type of picture bacteria to work. And in German part, this another Nepalese student, Rampar Sadawal, work on this isolation project. And this is about the swarming mobility of mixture bacteria of, of different strains. And this is about, this is the fruiting body of mixture bacteria, as I already explained. Limited, then this mixture bacteria aggregates, and this aggregation is known as fruiting body. And this is our publication. I jointly we publish. This is very renowned journal publication. I jointly we publish this type of article, um, working together with German University, Saarland University. And yeah, as I already mentioned here, this, uh, for the first time in Nepal, we isolated the seven new strains from. Seven new strains of mixture bacteria, three new strains from Saarland University, Germany, and four new strains from my college, National College, East. And also, here in Nepal,
and you can also work on isolation of the cellulitic bacteria because cellulitic bacteria are very important for us because we can use this type of cellulitic bacteria in order to degrade the lignin cellulose and after degradation of lignin cellulose ultimately we can spread the bioethanol okay bioethanol like that so from the from the environment from the biological samples you can also you can also isolate the cellulitic bacteria okay for 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 the teacher you can you can consult with your teachers okay and in my college we are also working on isolating this type of cellulitic bacteria and our ultimate goal is to make the biofuel biofuel is biofuel because cellulose this cellulose cellulitic bacteria can degrade the lignin cellulose this type of molecule okay and from and after degrading lignin cellulose biomass then ultimately we can make bioethanol now i didn't have sufficient time to explain all all history behind it okay then how to follow this and this is another idea of research okay here my student work on preparation of nano nanoparticles look because here easily here in nepal you can be nanoparticles because this is not difficult okay and in, in this research yeah we did not use any chemicals for making nanoparticles yeah we adopted the green chemistry method we use just water aqueous water water we did not use any solvent because we want to make we want to make this our experiment and our research environment friendly okay and we also attempt whether whether making nanoparticles is feasible or not without using chemicals okay here what what we did my students agash gupta work on this project now he is a phd candidate in university of massachusetts usa currently he already, he already joined this university and in this experiment my students work on making the silver nanoparticles silver nanoparticles and yeah he collected some plant extract okay and he developed the plant extract in what okay he brought some plants okay and make powder then boil that plant in water okay and make plant extract plant extract but without a chemical without using any ethanol methanol any solvent only in water okay and then treat this plant extract with silver nitrate solution right yeah easily you you can do perform this type of research here in, in this college also because this is quite feasible and you can make different concentration of silver nitrate solution like 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm like that then treat that that silver nitrate solution with plant extract plant extract made in water okay then then you can make this type of silver nitrate particles because and why we are focusing on this type of research reason reason is that because from silver nanoparticles can also show the antibacterial activity okay they also possess some antibacterial activity and we can we can use this type of silver nanoparticles in order to deliver the drugs also okay look in this slide also the this type of this type of uh, the principal is shown here now this and this is the experimental method of my students he performed this section to this experiment this way now what i want to tell you if you want you student if you want to work this type of experiment yeah in this college okay then you can also contact with me okay through your student through your teachers okay because this is this is very feasible here this is not ex expensive No. And in this research, my students use two type of methods for purification of silver nanoparticles. He used centrifugation method and ethanol precipitation method. And but we found the centrifugation method is is better for making this type of silver nanoparticles. That is justified by scanning scanning electron microscope. Okay. And we perform this type of experiment. collaboration with south korea in collaboration 
collaboration with South Korea and my student also published this result in articles, this Advanced Science Engineering and Medicine Journal. This result is already published. Now, I want to tell something about Are major source of antibiotics. Two thirds of antibiotics are extracted from the soil based microorganism actinomyces. Okay? Now, how antibiotics are made inside the antibiotics, inside the bacteria. There are several genes are involved to make antibiotics. Okay? And this is about this is about the cloning strategy of antibiotic gene cluster. And we can find this type of antibiotic gene cluster in a bacterial cell. Okay? In bacterial cell, inside the bacterial cell, no chemicals are used. Only enzymes and some precursor are used as a building building block and and inside the inside the bacterial cell this final antibiotics is found. Okay? No chemical reactions are involved here. All reactions are enzyme catalyzed. And these enzymes are formed by the gene expression. And this particular gene will make particular enzyme and enzyme will catalyze the each step in biosynthesis of antibiotics. Okay? And we you can also isolate this type of antibiotics antibiotics based bacteria from soil soil based from the soil microorganism actinomyces this right yeah or for your curiosity now i am telling you about this how antibiotics is made in bacterial cell in bacterial cell several genes are involved okay and several genes like the and several genes will make different type of proteins and proteins will catalyze the different reactions and ultimately we can see this type of antibiotics as a product. Okay? Now, have you heard about this toxorubicin? This toxorubicin is treated at adriamycin also. This is also the anti-cancer drug. Okay? And widely this is used in, as a chemotherapy in cancer vessel. Okay. And this doxorubicin, <coughs> doxorubicin is found based on this gene cluster. Yeah, several genes are involved, more than 35 genes are involved to make this doxorubicin. Okay. And from your Nebulis file also, you can isolate this type of bacteria. And this bacteria will have this type of gene cluster. And these genes can make this type of antibiotics. Okay. So you can also isolate the actinomyces. Okay, and that is actinomyces to develop this type of new or potent antibiotics. Okay. Also, beside this, I also work on plant technology also. In plant also, look, yeah, I'm I'm giving you some information about the tissue culture of Polonia. Okay, and this project was supported by Asian Development Bank. Okay, this the next slide. And this, this, yeah, I am telling you about the tissue culture of plant. Okay? Yeah, greenhouse gases are responsible for the global climate change, you know that. And this polonia is one of the good carbon dioxide sequestered known. And it, it absorbs 10 times more carbon dioxide than, than any other tree is known. And this is the tree of polonia. Okay? Look. And in my college, my students also work on tissue culture of this polonia. We can grow this plant inside the lab. Okay? Using media, like this is EMS media. Okay? In EMS, in plant, in, in, in plant tissue culture, also we use this type of EMS media and you can grow this plant in EMS media this way. And 
in my experience, may be start of experiment in my lab. For the next slide, please. Our plan is to also, first of all, we have to establish this type of BX plan, then, then perform several rounds of culture and subculture, and finally, starting from this plan, look, this is this single node culture, and after 14 days, 14 days you can see this type of, this type of growth on MS media, and finally, you can do this type of plan inside the bottom of the plan, in the lab also. This is also the photo showing the root formation after stand routine in, in, in lab. Okay? And this research is also published in journal. Okay? This is in the journal of applied science and biotechnology. And this is my another publication. This is the some pictures of my lab. Okay? This is my students working on the plant tissue culture here. This is the photograph of my lab. Okay, plant is controlled lab. This one. Yeah, I didn't mention the, the result and other experimental part of this paper. Okay. I will give you this PDF file. And now this is the photograph of my lab. Okay, some photograph of lab. <coughs> we have this real time PCR also in my in our laboratory, and we can use this real time PCR for disease diagnosis. Okay, yeah. I did not mention many many research which are carried out in my lab, like disease diagnosis and this another this uh, diabetic disease based diagnosis. Enzyme inhibition. I didn't mean, I didn't cover other parts of my research. Okay. And this is the some pictures of my lab. Other slides. So, and this is our international research collaborator. As I already explained, we work on mixture bacteria in research collaboration with Salem University Germany. Okay. And working together with this institute, we successfully isolated. Isolated some strand of vector bacteria. Go to next slide, please. And this is another our research collaborator. This is Eva Oman, University of South, South Korea. And this is some from State University from where we are receiving this all those reductase in that. Next slide, please. And this is another our research collaborator, University of Colorado. Yeah, with this university, we are working with all those reductase. Okay, as I already explained, I already told why this all those reductase is important for us because it is related with diabetic eye or retinopathy. And for while preparing this research talk, these following students help me and help me and only result of those students are confident. Yeah. And this is my digital digital address. And please also follow Nagarin Diary for my articles related to science and technology. Regularly, I write I write for this newspaper Nagarin Diary in every two weeks. Okay. So at last, I would like to thanks for giving me this opportunity to share my research with with you. So um, I sincerely thanks to the authority of this college. Uh, this authority of this college and the faculty of this college. I'm very glad to be here. Okay. And so if you have any query and questions, please feel free to ask. What I know, I'm ready to share. Thank you very much.